Hi guys, Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury. Guys, I'm back. Back in the saddle. Back home. Back home. That's correct. I'm back. And um, I got to tell you, the new president. Yes or no? The new president. Um, I got to be honest with you. The 36 has a lot going for it. But, 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 I kind of like the 40. I like the 40. That's exactly right. Let's get, let's get some guests on here. Let's get the guests happening now. Let's get the guests happening now. Let's get the guests happening. 36 or 40 mil prayers, which would you take? Mm, that's a tough question. That's a tough question. Very tough. 36 or a 40. Come on, guys. Let's jump on the stream and let's discuss. I had a bit of a technical hitch here. I came back and then my camera wasn't working and we got tim tim Wright. hello tim how are you hi archie are you a 36 or a 40 president man definitely 40. you don't like the 36 <laughs> i like the proportions of it mm, it's okay i think i think 36 is really good for for a woman but they date 36 that'd be so cool it's a man's watch tim i know but this is the watch. new world we're entering everything is like unisex. i don't like it <laughs> nobody's asking you that's just how the world is you know it's just the world just moves on without us archie it doesn't care yeah. Yes. yes. Have you ever thought about getting a president yourself? No. I'm not a president type of guy. You know, I'm just a simple, humble, humble dude. Panda man. You know? Panda man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's under the radar. You know, nobody ever pointed out, like, Ooh, is that a panda? Mm. To be frank, I don't wear it that much. So, maybe. If it was the black, would it be better? Do black, does black matter to you or not really? The black uh, Daytona, would that be as, as, would you love it as much if it wasn't, if it didn't have the, the privilege of the white? I refused it. Um, I was offered, my AD told me, here's the black one. And I said, no, thank you. I'm just not interested in the black one. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Because that's worth a lot of money now, you know. It is, but I didn't buy it. Both, or you think you could only have got one, really? I only need one. Could you have got two, or could you have only got one? No, no, I can't get both. No. Okay. Also, like, uh, I don't think that'd I would buy bit, it. That'd be a bit burning, wouldn't it, to have both? Can't get both. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of making, striving for higher ideals, you just, ah, yeah, can't, can't get both. Here we go, Matthew Stewart, 15 bucks, best modern gold, yellow or roll, sports model Rolex. I got to tell you, I've actually owned the president, sorry, I've owned a president, I've also owned the, um, the gold sub. I would have to say the best, the absolutely best sports watch to own would be the 40 mil Submariner with the blue bezel and dial. I also quite like the Daytonas in precious metal. I was at a restaurant yesterday, mm -hmm. $15 all you can eat pasta. And I saw a guy who had a gold, I don't know about you, but there's something about when you've got real yellow gold, it looks completely different to gold plating you know like like people have gold plating you can tell like real oh, yeah. gold has got a warmth to it I, I i would have to say one watch that really impresses me is the yacht master the guy 
who I got my Submariner off, he was wearing the white gold Yachty, Ooh. white gold with the rubber. Absolutely wow. popped. That's the 42? So I, yes. Sorry. Yeah, wow. you're right. 42. Wow. I got to tell you, I saw this guy yesterday at the pasta restaurant and he had a daytona paul newman not a vintage like the paul newman combo dial hello we got a full board we got lolex what's hello, going on Garnett. everyone what's i heard going on, on, Palmer? Sorry, i heard cool i can't be on stream today <laughs> i heard oh, all you can eat pasta i had to sign in <laughs> hey Palmer, can i just say something very quickly sure 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 please please I I just want to say an incredibly uh, an incredible thank you to the incredibly kind and generous ER who yesterday gave me a small donation to put towards my explorer. So I just want to say thank you so much to ER. She's oh, wow. an angel sent to She's us from heaven. Lady. So. She's very good there. ER, very cool. Amazing. Nice. Did it help you, Marco? <laughs> yeah. I mean, any <laughs> any penny counts, you know, Ponif. So. Listen, man, that's awesome. But but let's face it, you're you're not poor. You're you're quite well off, aren't you? Well, it's because I'm frugal, Ponus. That's the only reason. Okay. But you know how cool that's gonna be when you buy the Explorer. You're gonna know that part of that Explorer was brought to you by ER. You know, you can never forget that. Yeah, I'm incredibly grateful, Ponus. Like I told nice. yesterday, you know. Look, look, she has generated a lot of interest. She's also done a lot for me. I'd never be jealous of you. You know, I'm really happy for you, okay, Marco? Ponif, it's like I told her yesterday. Honestly, she didn't have to do it. And like I, like I told her, like, she's under no obligation whatsoever to do it. Like, just being able to be in the stream is, okay. like, rewarding she's enough for me. Very cool. She's very cool. And um, I got just hang on. I'm going to turn the air con on. It's, it's a bit hot here. I got to... Lolex, oh, what's up, man? Where you been? Hey, what's How going on, guys? We missed I, you, pal. Yeah, I've just been busy. I was a little under the weather for the past week, but doing good, doing good. I went oh. to look at some Porsches yesterday. How did that go? Very expensive. <clears throat> yeah. Man yeah. against machine, $10. Best excuse to get out of a date. I have COVID. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's... <laughs> You're like asking to get COVID just by saying that. I feel like you're gonna get COVID the next day. I have a bit of a cough just with everything. I don't wanna infect you. That's the best way to, that's what I'd be using. That's the best, but why would you get it? Get out of a date? Man, I'd be, man, I don't understand this. Why would you, I, I find it hard enough to get dates, get alone, get out of them. Oh man. It's hard enough to get them. I, I mean, I mean, I, I've it's got to be pretty damn desperate to get out of a date. Archie, what's a good watch to wear on a first date? You know what, man? Seriously, I don't think watches or cars really make much difference. Yes, it does. It gives you mojo, partner. No, it gives you that I coffee. Really exactly. It makes you I've always alpha. done better when I haven't had props. When I haven't <laughs> had props, I've done better. You got to got to be yourself. People don't like materialistic asses who constantly mention possessions it's just uncool it's uncool um yeah yeah i mean look look put it this way right say you're going out with a how do i put it say you're dating a woman who's very left-wing she's into alternative culture well you don't really want to bring the porsche and the rolex out do you you want to mm. go with the flow man i'm part of the the crowd i was at you know, Woodstock, my parents met at Woodstock, baby. You know, free love. Free I stormed love. the cat the capital. I was there. Pan it out. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I tell you honestly, best watch for a date, really. I think honestly, you just gotta be yourself. You wanna material goods don't make you the world is so materialistic, you wanna try and I don't think I don't I honestly don't think they work. Here we go. Mark Nicholas Nicholas Latham Scott two dollars pre-owned Rolex Cellini eleven K ish sleeper. No, they're cactus. I'm so I love the Cellini. I love them. 
Salini Prince, I think he's talking about for that money. Great bang per buck. Nobody really wants. They're just soft. It's only the oyster. They're gonna be. It's gonna be an oyster case. I am sorry. This is. I didn't write the rules. It's. You will never get it. I know two dealers who actually sold Cellini's below cost. They thought they were bargains. They thought they're gonna make all this money. Twelve months later, they wholesaled them out and lost money so i would to be honest with you nicholas stay the fike away believe you me man are you talking us dollars 11k ish i think that's just man i told you the paddock 5196 you can get one of those 13 i paid 13 and a half for mine so what you're gonna go cheap and get a selena you will never sell that watch oh, wait, and here man. we go mike gmt two dollars Please give Marco 50 cents. You keep a dollar 50. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> poker rich, poker rich, poker rich. And then we've got the gazillion oh, ads. Two up above Tony Nico, $10. Tony Nico, here we go, $10. Hey boy, can you bring up the PP? 5320 PC and give me your opinion for my next piece or 5396. Also, can you show me Babushka? Babushka's Piskanka one more time. Yes, we can. The Pisanka. The Pisanka, <laughs> man. I can show you the Pisanka. There we go. It's the Easter eggs. The Ukrainian Easter egg calendar. I'm so a cool. proud to be a Ukrainian. Actually, you know what? I tell you honestly, I've been to Ukraine, right? i got to be totally honest with you. The term village idiot comes to mind, okay? <laughs> I'm the biggest village idiot of the lot. <laughs> you know, five, five, three, two, zero. This is an absolute beautiful watch. I got to be honest with you, Marco. Marco? Yes, sir. Marco, this watch here is absolutely Gorgeous. That is a very gorgeous. Is that a moon face? Yeah. It's a oh, that's cool. Calendar, sword hands. It's got a little. It's got. It's got. Damn. In the month. It's also got. It's a perpetual. So that blue dot tells you when it's in the leap year cycle. How much so is that? AM PM. On the other side is tells you. It's about a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Seriously, I got to be honest Jesus. with you. You want my opinion? I'm going to give you, Tony, my opinion. Get the 5320 is amazing. Personally, this is just my opinion. It's up to you. If you don't have to. Pulling up my watch. That's the better one, Pontiff. Hey, Why are you pulling up my watch? Have you got one? That's 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 the one I'll be getting. The 5320. Hey, Pontiff, let's just bang this one out because you got a lot of super chats that are coming in. That 5320 in white gold. Personally, I would get the 5396 rose gold with blue dial. That, that is the most beautiful watch. Very cool. Yankee Doodle, here we go. Yankee Doodle, $2. Half the price, yeah. Girls like nice shoes and fine cologne. That's it. Thank you very much. And Poker Rich, two pounds. We woke. Go, go woke, go broke. Buy Rolex and Bear Clooney. Bear, 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 Clooney. Here we go, $2. Snowflake girls are more materialistic, actually. There we go. Very cool. And here we go. Showcase watches, $5. Decided against the Hulk. It's giving up getting mine back. It's giving up getting mine back if I buy. Got a stickered 126610LN instead. That's the same watch I got, the 41 mil. Very cool. Pounds above retail and licked no AD but to, man that is a I gotta be honest with you the proportions that watch I love I nice love one I showcase love marina but buddy good on you mm -hmm. good on you friend and we got mef mef ten dollars currently only 39 mil op oyster perpetual that's the rolex date just no date white dial considering selling or trading it toward a sub date yes or no look mef sure why not I gotta be life honest. short really be selling your watches to pay for new ones this is not a good way to go it's not a good way to go i would if okay do it it's okay sub date is worth it what you haven't told me which one button you're going to go for a 40 mil 41 what are you going for i don't know 
Tan Zeal, five bucks. AC3, can you bring up the Society for Thin Dress Watches section on LuxuryToLast.com and read through the do's and don'ts? Man, this this is a... Um, Hey, Pontus, I got to go. I got to go back to yeah. class. I got I to gotta get going. I'll see you guys in the next Work one. Hard. See you guys tomorrow. Later, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hard. Take care, guys. Enjoy. You know, got to Thanks again to Yark, by the way. Hard. He's very... The Society for Thin Dress Watchers. The Society for Thin Dress Watchers. Here we go, guys. This is always good for a laugh. This is always good for a laugh let's get this baby up thank you marco for coming on a little bit there that's great is this must be made of a precious metal <laughs> diameter excluding crown must be smaller than 41 needs to be analog the best dress watch possess discretions and, <laughs> do's and don'ts. look at these these are some do's and don'ts the society for thin Dress watches thing. Tanzil, <laughs> man, this is embarrassing, man. <laughs> Here we go, Tan. Thank you, Tan. Frame of five bucks. Archie, your thoughts on some people trying to push the idea of a date just being a sports model? <clears throat> I gotta tell you, the date just is an amazing watch. Any other brand, that would be a sports model. Waterproof case, hundred meters. It's a proper put it on an oyster smooth bezel. I think it is a it is pretty well a sports watch. It's just that Rolex is so amazing. <clears throat> that's their dress watch. It's like right in between, I think. It fits right in between the sports watch and the dress watch. It's kind of it's kind of like the um it's just amazing watch to have, okay? Hey Arch, could we touch back on the guy uh who MEF, the guy who put ten dollars for that question with the thirty nine OP? Um yes. if he's a one watch guy I don't think there's anything wrong with trading up and getting into his update, you know. Maybe he's just a one watch type of guy. He don't he only likes one watch. I mean, he didn't really give a lot of information, but he could be one of those yeah, guys you say you admire the one and done, you know. I got to tell you, I really do like the Oyster Perpetual he, that he's He might be about. he might be asking because the 39's going out and he's wondering Considering that 39 is being discontinued, is a good idea for him to get rid of it and put it towards the new watch. That might be more what he's right. Uh, we need a little more info. If I had a choice, I'd probably go for the sub date. The sub, right. any sub, 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 sub is going to be a better long term. As long as you don't get slaughtered, are you going to trade it into a dealer? Are you going to sell it yourself? What are you going to do? Right. You're better off selling it yourself and then buying it instead of getting hammered at the dealer. You've got to do dealer. it with a dealer. Remember, a dealer is only interested in themselves. They're not interested in you. That would actually be a pretty nice two-piece combo, the white OP and the black sub-date. Yeah. Brian Rafferty, $20. Really would be. Archie, I'm a bigger guy. I have a Navi Timer World, Super Avenger 2. Panerai Ceramica Black Seal and a Yachtmaster 2. Gave my wife my sub as I didn't enjoy it too small. Ooh. Recommendation for another watch? Ooh, man. Sky, Sky I would say for you, Explorer 2, 42 mil. 42 mil Explorer 2. You've got to have Rolex, man. I'll be honest with you, Brandon. Let's be honest. Navi Timer Brightling, toxic on the secondary market. Pam, toxic. Super Avenger, toxic. Yacht Master 2, fair enough. For you, oh, no, no, I'm sorry, I missed the most obvious choice. Get the deep sea, the 44 mil deep sea. Yep, you could get I the James Cameron. Yeah. Nastiest Rolex, and it's nasty. It is going to really always be the big burper of the Rolexes. <laughs> and they're soft. You don't get the James Cameron, just get the black dial. <clears throat> you can get those. You can get those at a re the, the good. The, 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 I think those are a currently a bargain. Okay, there you go. Another large watch would by Rolex might be a, the forty two gold, gold yacht master oyster flex. It might wear nice on him because it's an oyster he's flex. It's adjustable. League, he's not in that league. I can see by this. And, low and, and, and you know it's adjustable on the new oyster flex too. So that would help now. Not in that league. It's just. Super chat. We're talking Navi timers, super oceans, Pams. They're kind. Of, oh, the ceramic is expensive. That's not a cheap watch. <laughs> Here we go. Tanzil. Fifty dollars. AC three in the luxury to Woo! last. 
eight watches of all time were Calatrava, Deja, Submariner, Speedy, Nevitimer, Cartier Tank, Cartier Santos, Reverso, Royal Oak, and Lange One. Should the book be updated? What are the modern eights? Buy the book, Fikers, on Amazon. I got to tell you. So, what are the top eight? Well, we could do. I'd have to say the top one. Let me just go through this list. You'd have to say number one would be the Submariner. Number two would be the GMT now. Number three, I don't even know the date just makes the grade. I would say Speedy. I would then say you'd have to say a Paddock Nautilus, Royal Oak. I would have to say Reverso, Reverso. What else could we put there? The Daytona? Do you yeah, the Daytona? of course. Yeah, the Daytona and an Aquanaut. <coughs> oh, good on you, mate. Stuff. Aquanaut, huh? Yeah, look, i got to be honest with you. I've got a love-hate relationship with Paddock Sports, but they're a great watch. They are beautiful. They really... I'd love one, okay? I would really love one. Me too. I'd love one too. And a Calatrava. We'll put a Calatrava. There you go. There's 10, but... It has changed a bit. Yeah, it has changed a bit there. Thank a, you, Tanzil, for your kind support. A mature watch collector needs one Cordero, paddock and one sport. I need your help. Have been eyeing the 5127 but can't decide. Gold, white gold, or rose? Are the dials the same color? I am leaning to, I think he means, well, they're all gold. They're all gold. Personally, look, i got to be honest with you, I think they look best. I think that watch looks best in white gold or rose gold. But they're all amazing. The colors are slightly different. They are slightly different. Yes, they are. Because you've got yellow gold indices as opposed to white gold on the white gold and rose gold. So, so they are different. They're all different. Mm. But that's a great the five one two seven. I love I love the five one two seven. Bear Clooney ten dollars arch rule for rich. He mentions Viking Bitcoin. Drop him rule for plastic. His background noise louder than him. Drop him. <laughs> Big hello for my bro Tanzil arch and guys would like to see Victor back. Yes. What do you think? Ooh. Should we get Victor back? He emailed me. Sorry, I didn't respond, Bear. I was just packing up from the Gold Coast, the Goldie, and I was a bit late because I had to pack up, and then I couldn't get my camera to work. I had all sorts of technical issues. That's why I'm late. Should we get Victor back? Bring him along. Maybe. Well, he's, 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 we'll certainly see. We'll ser and ER in the audience there. ER, thank you. That's very kind to help Marco out. Hi, you are. Marco's a great guy. <clears throat> Marco is a great guy there. Hopefully, he actually gets the Explorer now. Marco, if you're listening, now you got to get it. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think he, he himself, he's a, he's a great kid. I love him. He's becoming like a, uh, becoming a replacement to Blue Shirt because he's going to be a one and done man. He's going to love that Rolex <laughs> more than all you flippers out there who have multiple Rolex. And he's just a loyal soldier. A loyal sergeant, loyal corporal. He's a loyal corporal. That's what he is. <laughs> he got demoted to corporal from sergeant. No, no, no. He's a corporal because he, he's a private, <laughs> and then he becomes a corporal, doesn't he? Right. Corporal's a good rank. Yep. yep. Corporal's nothing wrong with being a corporal. <laughs> Tim, what's wrong there, man? You look a bit. Oh, I'm working the cats. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, man. Thank yeah. You. Yeah, because you guys were talking, so there you go. I gave everybody time to shine. Seriously, guys, you've got to... Oh, a lot of super chats you went through right now. Yankee yeah. Doodle, five bucks. Here's an Amazon review, luxury to last. I don't believe in the burning of books, but exceptions can... Please. Exceptions can be made. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There are some ex excellent reviews on Amazon, by the way. I, I do I enjoy that. I actually got a thinking of, yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> I produced that book at the you know that, don't you? 
What's that? You you what? Produce the what? <laughs> you print the work. You yeah. know. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Any tips on buying a JLC four one four eight four two zero? If I have no ADs close to me, doesn't seem to be many listed on grey market. Bring it up for the Cardinals. Okay, let's get this baby up here. Can you read that number to me there, Tim? I need you to read me that number. Yep. JLC four one four. Yep. Eight four two zero. Sorry, 8420? Yep. 414 8420. Yep, there we go. So, this here is the Jega Le Coutre Master Control. It is absolutely beautiful. I got to be totally honest with you. This is a brand that has limited at the market. It is very soft. Okay, the market for this watch is soft. I don't know why. It's, I didn't say it was fair. I think it's a beautiful watch. But i got to be honest with you, man. I would just... You want to get a discount, okay? You want a discount because nobody wants it. Believe you, you me. You know, I, I really don't like this watch. I just think the... You know, when as your eyesight goes, you're not going to see it, like what date it is. What the day? Like calendar, it's so moon, tiny. It's just, it is. It's, it's a dress a watch. Art, but, I know, know I mean? but it's impossible to see. It's completely impractical. But it's, I don't think it's. I don't think it's that bad to see. I mean, I, I, think, I don't uh, think it's quite that bad there. I mean, right. this watch itself. Really? You realize it is a Jaeger Lecoult. A Jaeger Lecoult. This, this is I, really high-end you, you know what i mean like when you say high-end watches click the picture on the wrist i want to see the one on the wrist oh, sorry. i just like the one just simple That's... one with uh with just a date and the moon phase yeah see on it looks it's just beautiful on the wrist i think that's a, a really classy watch very nice watch mm. it is extremely how much nice. is that look the problem is okay the problem with any jlc there is no kudos the guy will buy it, nope. then he'll sell it because no one says, wow. Uh, okay, so, 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 okay, the JLCs themselves there, let's have a look. How much are they? That's a very, very good question. Uh, the, the, the Jagler Kultra Master Control Calendar, it's 40 mils, and the price is in steel, 10,700. In rose gold, it's 22,400. And I'm getting this information from a blog to watch, my good friend Ariel Adams. I wow. gotta tell you, um, ten thousand dollars, right? Yeah. The problem is, guys, would you buy this or a sub? See, it's, it's the genre, the genre. See, for that money, brand new, I'd want hefty. I'd want thirty percent off, personally. I don't know what you guys think. JJ, what do you reckon, JJ? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I, I think I stick to my original statement that I always say. I I think all these watches are beautiful, but I would only buy a reverso. That's it. Right. As far as but JLC. Think, okay. Good point. Good point. I think, honestly, you've got to buy this watch and hold it for yourself. You're not going to be able to flip in or flip yeah. out. and. The sort of money you're talking about is Rolex territory, okay? Mm. Right. So are you yeah. okay not getting the kudos? That's the question. Um, so, on that watch, yeah. Yeah, I mean, but I also have other watches. If it was my only watch, then I might have a problem with it. You know what I mean? Because sometimes, let's be realistic, people could say what they want, but sometimes you want a watch that's going to get a little attention, you know? If it was a one and done, no, I, I wouldn't get it. But if I if I had a few nice pieces that were a little more uh, ostentatious, then yes, I would definitely get this watch. I think it's really nice. I think that would make a great Tandy, office watch. AC3, follow up to my question: Why did you choose to drop the Cartier Tank and Santos from the list and the Breitling? How much to pay you to do a, a stream reading the audio live? <laughs> yeah, okay. Look, the problem with RDA is the tank solo has absolutely killed 
my passion for Cartier, okay? And the tank. Okay, sorry. Then you've got the Santos. What did they do to the Santos, man? I don't understand. I love the Santos. It was kind of like the sophisticated guy who, you know, the guy, what is that exactly? Is that aftershave or what is that? No, it's Cartier. It's a box. It's well, I'm not going to say it. Somebody has to donate money for it. Then. That's not free. Okay, we'll open the box. Um, <laughs> What's in the box? To be completely honest with you, Cartier's did some nasty stuff that I can't forgive. And as for Breitling, <gasps> I'm really angry wow. at Breitling for being taken over by a bunch of investment banker snakes. That's the problem. That exactly. The problem. That's the problem. Richmond? No. Oh, this is the other guys. Yes. Yeah, I'll be back in one minute. I'm going to take a toilet break. I will be right back. And Sponsored by um, JJ Lacoste. Sponsor. <laughs> if I then uh, the thing would work, it hasn't worked. I have to reset it. Just be in one moment there. Rich buddy, mm. how you doing? Oh, he's not here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I just realized that. Hey, how's the how's the green roll doing, by the way? The green roll is sleeping. It needs its beauty rest. Oh. The flaps have been opened too many times. <laughs> for an unused uh for an unused roll, it is taking quite a quite a quite a beating lately, so it needs <laughs> some rest. how much did you pay for it? Um, I bought it when they had the regular price. I just looked the other day is three ninety nine for the four roll. Um, I think I got it twenty five percent off, something like that. They had a sale like around, I think around Christmas time or something like that. Would you sell it to me? Uh, for the price you paid for it, for my birthday. Yeah, I mean, if you, oh, if yeah? you really want it, <laughs> I mean. You could just order one. They'll send you one. But yeah, I could. No, but there's that. no more sale, you know. I mean, always, there's always going to be sales. But yeah, I mean, it's up to you yeah. if you want. I just got to find the, if I find the, I just got to look for the receipt. I'll let you know how much I paid. Yeah. Cool, cool. Because I, I, I know I didn't pay full price. I got it on sale. I have to mm. check my, uh, I have to go through my PayPal. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks really nice. It's, it's green. Rolex green. I got only Rolexes. You know, it's like. Well, that's it makes a lot of why sense. I bought it to put my Rolex in, but ah, but you I, put it into a different one though, right? Because I didn't. Neither one of them would be full. <laughs> They'd both be half yeah. full, because you know I still have some. I still have a few watches to go. Mm. I'm thinking, you know, I have four. I have four watches now. I'm planning to get one more. Uh, that's going to be like a perfect, you know, one on the wrist and four in the roll. Right. Oh, well, hello. How are you guys? Hey. Okay, welcome we'll back. Super chat here. Brussel and Co. $5.46. Thanks, everyone. I'll work on discounts like Art said. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this, okay? I want to bring Showcase something wants up on the, the link. screen. I want to show you something, okay? Can I show you something, guys? Sure. Please. Can you just drop the link for Showcase? He wants the link. This is for Brussels. Ooh, I, he actually, asked me I like Alua. Alua is amazing. You know that? Mm, that's, yeah, that, that's actually the perfect partner to Blue D Chanel that you already have. Oh not yeah, ridiculously priced. You have to get the uh, extreme though. Right. Okay. That's the really the good homo one. Homo sport. That's what we want. The homo oh, sport. <laughs> 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 now, now. <laughs> Dude, two dollars. AC three. Did everything come out okay? Uh, well, I put the link in there, so the link is there. Um. Okay. Now, I was going to show you something. I wanted to show you something. Okay. I wanted to show you something just to show you how bad JLC can be. Here we go. This is my good friend Cove from Luxurio Watches. And let's have a here look here on Code website. Jesus, I don't know if you'd ever sell that. He's got, a, he's got, a, he's got on lips. Look at this, he's got on lips. You never wow. ceases to amaze me. Um, 
have a look under his website, okay, buy a watch, and we want to check out JJ Lecoute. Look at this. There we go. Ooh. Look at that. That is actually the watch that I what? got. What? This is Aussie dollars, not US. Now, you know how many inquiries he's had for this, guys? Mm. You know how many? Less than zero. <laughs> Less than zero. Absolutely <laughs> no interest whatsoever. So That's what's going to happen, you buy a JLC, okay? <laughs> and this is actually really good looking JLC. Right. No, like, unfortunately, look at those proportions. It's it absolutely they gorgeous. Did every, they did everything Speaking right of here. Impossible sales. Can I also show you one more impossible you got a sale? A couple super chats, Arch, just so you know. Ooh, okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'll be right there. Just have a look at Patek Philippe. This is at Vintage Watch Co. Patek Philippe. Guess what? The gondola! So? No, Aussie oh, dollars, I... not US. Aussie dollars. <laughs> no. Well, it's, it's had a few inquiries. It has had oh. inquiries. Wow. It's got, but got legs. Nobody pulled the trigger. You know why? Did they want a discount? They want steel sports. That's, that's it's the wrong genre. At the moment, steel sports is very, very hot. Right. That, that's an old fashioned looking watch. Here we go. Olympic Oaks Trading Co. Five bucks. Arch, your show's got much better when, when you've got Tim, Marco, and Tim join the show. A lot of positivity. Yesterday's show was hilarious. Aww. Look at these guys. They're leading. Thank you. Very, very cool indeed there. Hey, Showcase, how are you? Yeah, good, man. How are you? Congratulations, one, one more. buddy. Well, I've got... Ooh, just hang on. One moment. Put <gasps> that up there. Da -da -da -da. Oh, my God. Da -da 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 -da. Getting a show. <laughs> it arrives. It arrives. It arrives on Thursday. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Okie dokie. Joe Kramer. Here we go. Joe Kramer. Joe Kramer. Joe Kramer. Since Rolex is driving away their customers, which brand do you think will bounce back? Tag, Breitling, Long Jeans, or Bell and Ross? Man, I got to be completely honest with mm. you. Long Jeans. Ah, vomit. <laughs> Bell and Ross. Ross. Yeah. Man. Brightling. I think Omega's you know, getting I, I don't mind a Brightling. you got to buy it pre-owned. You've got to get it pre-owned. And Tag. Tag is Actually, a sort of entry yeah. level sort of thing. It, it, yeah. I don't hate Tag. Hello, ABC. How are you? Hey, Arch. I'm good. How are you? Hey, I'm still trying to sell that gondola. Has it gone yet? You know that? Hmm, have you tried Steve wearing it? Hey, five dollars. Okay, five dollars New Zealand. Now he he was living in Bangers, Bangkok, and then he, unfortunately, that because of COVID, his positions ended there. I'm reducing my collection and have a complete dog to get rid of. Steel Oris Formula One Williams Chronograph. Actually, some of these Orises aren't as bad as you think. What's the easiest way to look? I got to tell you, actually, I've actually had. I remember a dealer asked me to help him sell a few. It was actually Vintage Watch Co. I sold them all. Man, they are actually wanted. Believe it or not, I, I don't know why certain Orises are wanted. If I were you, try take good photos. I'd probably say your eBay would be best to get rid of that. Because if you put it on Gumtree, you're going to have low-balling snakes. I'd probably eBay it because somebody will want that in an international market. That's my right. advice to you. And Stephen Cordaro, Cordaro, is that correct? <laughs> yes, Cordaro. Okay, here we so, go. Cordaro. Are you? <laughs> Five bucks. Did you guys see Federico saying Grand Seiko can overtake Rolex? <laughs> oh, come on. Not in my lifetime. Hundred percent. P.S. I bought a Rolex box. For my old sub from the UK, not Japan. Excellent news. Yeah, no, no way in the world can Grand Seiko overtake Rolex. You've got to be I mean, look, look, there is wishful thinking. Yeah. I've got about as much chance that there's about as much chance of Grand Seiko overtaking Rolex as I have of getting a Ferrari California. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going to happen. Archie, have you seen the gondola in person? No, 
honestly, I have seen it about two years ago. The very same watch. Mm, but you haven't it's held it in your hand and tried it on it's recently. A nice big, it's a nice big palette. It's beautiful. I, I tell you honestly, what I've decided to do is I'm going to leave it with Vintage Watch Co. until the end of Feb. Early March, I'm taking it back. End of story. It's been there long enough. That watch is about, in my opinion, it's about $2,000 underpriced if it doesn't sell i'm taking it back and gonna resell it myself down the track not now the timing's not right that, mm. that's what i'll do hey archie what do you think of the jlc geographique look i gotta be completely frank with you i love chez chez le Coult. i love it i love it love it love it you know what the brand mm. is toxic the brand is toxic. I had a Polaris chronograph, column wheel, vertical clutch. Unsellable. Un the geography is special, Nobody isn't it? Nobody wants it. Nobody wants me. I'm just a poor man from a poor family with a moosh, with a moosh, canny fandango. Nobody wants that garbage, okay? I'm sorry. I didn't say it was fair. It and is that, what it is. That Polaris and, has all the right moves, too. It has the blue dial. It's a chronograph. It's, it's got a modern, steel it's bracelet. Nothing. It's got silicon right. bits in it. It's, I, it's, they can they say something about J.J. Lecoute? Yes. <laughs> the problem I have with it, uh, and I think the problem that the, the brand has is the brand name and that logo. It never uh, fits nicely on the dial. It's too it big. Matter. Nobody Chase can Chase pronounce Chase it. Chase it. Haven't you seen Bad Teacher? It's in that movie, Bad Teacher. Yes, I, yes I've seen it. But, you know, it's impossible to pronounce. It's not a Rolex. You know, saying Rolex, it just sounds so nice. No, it's, 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 look, I know, I know, I know. But You know they named it Rolex on purpose because it was easy yeah. and nice to say? Yes. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, if you look at all the other bra brands like Breitling, people say Bretling or Breitling. Uh... Omega, something, Amiga. So, yeah, there's, there's a consistent way of saying Rolex. Right. And they chose that because it would be easy to pronounce in the East. Right. That's the Joe Kramer, five bucks. If there's going to be a new king, I want it to be Omega. Only brand that actually makes Rolex sweat, sweet, sweat, sweat. I think you mean sweat. Look, yeah, Omega um, got a nice logo. Yeah. Simple to I say. I gotta be honest with you. No, I, I, I think honestly, <laughs> Omega has missed the boat. They have really. I don't think it's gonna come back. I, I wish it would. I wish it would. Okay. Mm. People used to laugh at me when I had so many Rolexes. They thought I was a freak. You know that I was ahead of my time. Yes, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I think with the Omega, they, they've made improvements over the past three years or so. I mean, I think that's because CNC machining got better. That's why Omega got better. The problem with Omega is that they did so, they've done so much damage. They've done so much damage with limited editions and the, and the horrendous things they've done with 007 on the dial and stuff like that. They've done so much damage, it's going to take a long time for them to come back. But I do think they are coming back. I think they did a limited edition each time Tim laughed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, you know the pieces. problem I have with the Omega is that whereas Rolex is making watches, Omegas seem to be just trying to make money any way possible that yes. they can. Make this, yes. make that. What, what are the punters going to buy? Are they going to buy this? Are they going to buy that? Put a Snoopy on the thing. Do the, do the other thing. And it's just like everything they make is for money. Whereas Rolex... You know when they made that two-tone sea dweller, who was asking for that? They were just they were just doing what what, what they want to do. They don't care. That's what the leaders do. I'm hoping they make a two-tone explorer too. You know that? Yeah, that I, you know that's what I thought. Like after I made a I made a video like predicting, and I thought, oh my god! After I made it, I was like, oh, are they going to make a two-tone or a full gold explorer too? It'd be amazing. Nah. Maybe for the anniversary. I doubt it, though. It's 50 Steve, years. Five bucks. Arch, being considering taking huge profit on my <laughs> nine Rolex collection, keeping three, invest the rest. I think about it 
doubt I will do it. Actually, that's a very, very interesting thing. The problem is, okay, so, so you, 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 you keep three. You're going to sell six. What would you buy? Would you invest in crypto crap? Would you invest in the share market, which is very over, in my opinion, and a lot of very over bubbling, so all, considering all time highs. All time. Do you hold cash? You know what the easiest thing? Hold Rolex. Just hold your Rolex. Rolex, in my opinion, ain't getting easier to obtain. Mm. Man against mm. machine, five bucks. Since I can't get Rolex, I was thinking about buying gold ounces. Thoughts? I already have a. He's got an Explorer one two one four two seven zero. Explorer. Um. Diversify, get some commodities, get some stocks. I think you just got to pay. It's not about you can't get Rolex. You can't get Rolex at retail. That's what you're saying. Right. You've got to pay the piper. You go to a grey market dealer, David SW, David SW, David SW. You buy a few, take a punt. I go get the Explorer 2 Polar Dial to go along with the Explorer 1. Yes, 100% agree with you. Upside down, Tim. Yeah, we like it oh, upside right. down. <laughs> <laughs> It, it's, it's a beautiful yeah. watch. That is, is a beautiful watch. That is just such an amazing watch. We just got to pay more than retail. That's the way it I remember, works. I remember having one of those. <laughs> Do you know what? I pay, I've paid two k over well two thousand four hundred over retail for a Submariner today, and I don't regret it in the slightest. I've not needed. I've not you needed to kiss. I think that's a better watch to have than the the Hulk. I think it's more usable. I've not needed to I've not needed to buy any crap. I've not needed to kiss any ass. I've I decided I wanted to buy it today and I've bought it today. You went to a grey market mm -hmm. dealer? Yeah, 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 great dealer. It's a great dealer that I know here in the UK. I mean showcase, I mean people people have paid a fraction of have paid you know more than ten times that in jewelry and they still haven't been given the phone call yet so good on you exactly, exactly. this is my point I, I know there's a lot of people out there that hate the gray market and they hate on the gray dealers but you know they just want to sell you a watch pay yep. the market price and move on yep. I, don't, I don't think you paid like an exorbitant amount of money you paid two thousand over you know it's not like you paid double you know what i, I mean you, you paid two thousand pounds how much do you pay exactly Ten ten thousand, ten thousand British pounds. So I don't know what what's that in US? Twelve and a half, thirteen. Yeah, about that. Right. That, that, that. That's the going rate, isn't it, or not? What do you think? I think so. Well, over here in the UK, it's looking like it's slightly under. Corona yeah, twenty four. I... Corona twenty four is putting it above that, but by the time you settle on a deal and you take all your fees and things out, I think ten thousand is about what they're walking away with. The right. problem is you've got to pay duty when you get it in. So that's actually in Aussie dollars, 17,690. So 17,000, just under 18 Aussie. You know what? That's about the price. That's yep. about the price. And it's 13,600 US. The problem is having one in England is a lot better than getting one shipped over because you'll get nabbed with customs. It could be stolen, all sorts of difficult things. Just pay the money and move on. And yep. I, I think you might be so, Here we go. Steve, five bucks. Follow up. I think my Rolex might go up even more, especially if Rolex... Ra well, Rolex always raises prices. I will hold my Rolex. I never pay... Well, Steve, you've got to... It's not about I never pay over retail. That's just a stupid statement to make because you really... You don't know the market. Do you want to yep. be lumbered with crap do you want to be lumbered with crap i i think just pay the money and move on anthony napoli two dollars new zenith coming soon and you know what anthony nobody cares realist unsellable i am sorry it's not fair it didn't say it was fair anthony but man that's the way it goes steve codaro five dollars Two years ago, I unloaded my Seamaster, got it as a gift, but wore my Submariner every day, way too big. 
Buy precious metal Rolex or Patek, make money. Look, i got yeah. to be honest with you. I probably, uh, at the moment, the Patek's I bought, I would have been better staying with the Rolex. But i got to be honest with you. Patek is, if you're going to hold on to a gold dress watch, Patek's the brand. You know, you know, I have a little prediction. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think the next... You know how people say, oh, when is the market going to go down for Rolex? I think the next thing that's going to happen is the, the solid gold watches are going to be getting a premium. I think it's, it's going to continue and it's going to get worse and it's going to move to the precious metals. Not all of them, but some of them. Yeah, I think you're right. I think two-tone, there was a considerable gap between steel and two-tone. Now that no gap is being that. bridged. You can't get that stuff at a discount. You can't get solid gold at a discount now. You know that? Right. But Even I think pre-owned, I think the, next the, the, the gap is being bridged. But I think it's going to start going over. I mean, it's already starting. If you look, even like the meteorite dial, if you buy oh, it on yeah. the gray market, selling o over. over. Certain ones are over. You can't get sure. it. Like, you know that day date you've got, um, JJ? No more discounts. You can't walk into a Rolex dealer and get that. They don't have that in stock anymore. Right. Nope. And I got a discount so and another watch for it. <laughs> I remember asking your advice if I should buy a 114060 for 8.1K used. And you said yes. And, and everybody said yes. Bought it and haven't looked back. Best watch ever. Wow. It's a no-day ceramic. Beautiful watch. Wow. But you don't think about it, the money you make on it. That's not the way to look at it. What you've got to look at is the fact that you can wear it for 10 years for free. Right. <clears throat> That's right. what I get the joy at. I, I love, I just put on my sub every day. I love my sub mariner. It just, it just it's, it's a beautiful watch. Do you not I think, do you not think, Arch, that, Sorry, yeah. Do you not think, Arch, that the, the, the journey that we go on, though, with this hobby teaches us that there are certain watches you cannot live without? I've learned, I've learned, certainly over the last few months, there's three watches that I can't live without in my collection, and that's an Amiga Speedmaster, a Rolex Submariner, and a Rolex GMT. They're the three core pieces that I want in the collection. Amiga, Everything... Amiga, ev Amiga Speed so Speed, Speedmaster Professional, I've got my Bat... I've got, I've got my GMT Batman and a, sub and a Submariner. That, that three is, is a perfect call, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. So, so the... I've got to tell you, ABC, I no longer can buy a speed. I went looking for a Speedmaster. I'm not paying overs for a bloody Speedmaster, okay? I'm sorry. Mm. I am not paying overs for the previous bloody model, okay? I ain't doing it, man. Ain't doing it. I am not doing it, okay? I no longer think the Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon is value for money. I, I'm sorry, I'm not paying. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to. Even after that. things calm down with the new one. Let's see what prices do, but I, I'm very, 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 very pessimistic. Joe Kramer, $10. Do you think Rolex is trying to replace VC in the Holy Trinity? I mean, that. let's be honest, Rolex doesn't belong with them, but sure seems like they are trying. Well, for starters, Rolex will never be considered Holy Trinity because they're not proper Swiss. They were an English. German guy. He's a German. It, 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 they look down on him, okay? The reality is, I think the two top brands are Paddock and Lange. Rolex is a world unto themselves. They are not whole, they're not trying for Holy Trinity. They're not looking at that. They're not finished movements. They're not this, they're not that. Rolex has got a certain genre. It's that utilitarian. Rolex is the SUV of watches. That's what's happened. It's an SUV. Everybody suddenly wants... I reckon Rolex is the Toyota Land Cruiser of watches. No, I think it's the Range Rover. It's the sexy SUV. Range Rover is so fucking terrible. Well, it's, it's considered prestige. Fragile. Garbage. I mean perception. Garbage. Garbage. I'm not talking about mechanical Garbage. prowess. <laughs> I'm talking about garbage, man. Range Rover. My God, you will get kicked off this program for recommending garbage. <laughs> it's more. It's more the yeah. perception of a uh, Range Rover that's you know considered. But the, the Rolex is not really perception. It actually is tough. No, yeah, but I, I think no, the, 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 the movements. The movements. 
had nothing to and do with Jeffrey. I think you Both guys are momentary. making. I think you guys are making a similar part point. Arch, you said the other day, Rolex is like the SUV. You know what I mean? I think that's yeah. kind of what he's saying. It's like a classy SUV, like a nicer SUV. It's more like Mercedes isn't the best car, whereas right. Rolls Royce is, and Patek. Mercedes, and... and... You want to know the honest truth? Mercedes is plastic <laughs> water pump. Plastic garbage. It's made Where's in plastic? the same <laughs> I am sorry. You know, at Lexus. At Lexus, you got to work for Lexus for twenty. We got to work work for Toyota for twenty years before you get to get work at the Lexus factory. Hmm. I kid you not, Lexus. I'm sorry, guys. They say I rich people sorry. drive to Lexus. Steve, five dollars. I got the Paul Newman double one six five one eight LN for a twelve percent discount in July. Rolex is the Mercedes AMG of watches. That's yeah, a, that's I kind a, of get that analogy, yeah. That's a, that's a good I, I deal. I understand the analogy, but believe you me, Mercedes-Benz, they make a very crap product. I'm sorry. I am sorry, okay? Garbage. You, they were garbage. Not, They're garbage. Do you think that's a good deal, 12%? I, I inquired about this with two dealers. Both of them said that they won't even get this for uh, people who aren't already customers, and there's no discount. That was with the last couple of weeks. That's big money. This is a big money watch. You know that, don't you? Right. They're going for thirty six and up on on the on the gray market. The watch is twenty eight in America plus tax. One minute. Mm. Emergency bathroom break. <laughs> Sponsored by <laughs> JJ Lecoq. <Yeah. laughs> so showcase. When do you get the watch? Thursday. Thursday. Yep. Oh, so I'll come on for. I'll come on Thursday. Well, to be honest, I'm I'm really looking forward to um, to seeing it. Roughly, what time does your postman come? Um, there you go. Um, Don't worry about that. Um, never guess what came today. Never guess what came today. <laughs> 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 a little slow. I just got that. <laughs> Why'd you get a post? What you got there? got another Rolex catalog. That's what I got, <gasps> man. Toyota Mo coming through again. Hmm. My good friend Stephen in Thailand. He sent me the new... Hey! Nice. Another one. There, there we go. Two of them. Look at that. Nice. Beautiful. 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 I can't, I can't believe they wouldn't give you one. I walked into my AD. I took it right off the shelf. I didn't even ask. I just, le I just left with it. <laughs> they didn't say anything. I don't think they... Five bucks. Rolex does not compete with watches, but rather positioning into the luxury lifestyle brands such as Hermes or LV. Hard point. Hard point. Hard point indeed there. Mm. Guys, I got to tell you guys, I want to say thanks for coming on today. We're going to wrap this baby up. I just got back. I got to do all the laundry, the washing, everything else. I want to say, guys, this show is going fantastic. New presidents will be in tomorrow. Apparently, is it tomorrow? When is it? Uh, yes, the twentieth. The twentieth. Yeah, yeah. So it's the twentieth here now. Still the nineteenth today. Yep. So guys. Oh, I by the way, uh, uh, one second, Arch. Uh, I just have to let people know that uh, uh, Herman uh, Richard Seuss's uh, episode two featuring ER is now on TimWright.com. So if anybody wants to read the episode two. Go check it out. Hey, that's fantastic. <laughs> I haven't read any of this, but it has been good. Yeah, it, it's really good stuff. He's a lovely guys, guy. Check Richard it out. Lovely, it's amazing. Guy. Guys, keep loving your Rolex. No matter what happens, don't sell your Rolex. Remember that. Keep your Rolex. Mm. Be happy. And, guys, we will catch up tomorrow. Later, guys. Later, guys. Later, everyone. Good night.